Hey guys, Tarko Cyclone FPV here, and I am getting ready to do a video on how to repair the binding button on, let's say, a fry sky receiver, but it's going to apply to pretty much all of them. Uh, and uh, uh, I'm doing this, a customer asked me to do this for him, tried to show him, give him an example of how to fix it. So let me just throw this up on the screen here. Bear with me a second. All right. So what you're looking at right now is it's under microscope, obviously, is this fry sky receiver. And what you can see right here is that at one point there was a bind button and now it's gone, right? And so I've got this tape down here. Uh, I don't know if the tape's going to hold very well, but at least it's not going to go hopefully flying all over the place. So I, the button is broken off. I need to straighten this out real quick. Hold on one second. I can tell these tweezers have about had it, but let me just, let me set to straighten these tweezers out real quick if I can. Uh, tell you what, man, if you say these things are awesome, but they're not made for this kind of work, I guess. At least not these fine tipped ones. But anyways, okay, so let me bend these in just a little bit. All right, I'm still gonna look loppy jawed, but that's fine. So I'm gonna look through here and show you what we're looking at. All right, so here's where the button was, right? Let me see if I can get this lined up. There, all right, so here's where the button was and now it's missing, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come in here real quickly and I'm going to scrape away and try to get off this metal, uh, piece here because the button's gone but now I need this whole jacket basically removed and I'm just going to carefully try to now these may not be the best things to use to get that off let me try something else the the, the tips of those um they're so fine they're just bending so just see if I can get this off and just basically scrape it off to where you get down to the board itself all right and you get rid of all this other extra junk okay all this stuff here this this plastic you don't need any of it Get it off and get down here. And you're going to see what I'm talking about as you get to the bottom here. The underlying area is what we want. Okay, and all this plastic stuff is really unnecessary. There. All right, so here's what we want, right? Here's where our binding button was. Okay, let me just get this junk out of here. Here we go. All right, so what we've got now is we've got these two edges here. And if you do a continuity test, let me... Let me grab my, uh, and I, I did take one of those antennas off. It's sitting right here, but that's not an issue right now. Let me grab this, uh, tester. If we do a continuity test, you can see that there is no continuity here, right, on this, okay? And so, and we'll just touch it to make sure. Okay, so these two are not touching, right? All right. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to somehow link these two pieces together. So it's very simple. You're going to need a... Um, fine tip uh, soldering iron all right and we're just going to go ahead and use our flux pen to kind of prep this up real quick right and that's going to be the uh, let me see if I can show you this real quick uh, let's see so that's going to be I use the SRA this one's pretty worn out but I use this SRA you can get this on Amazon um, and so this is this is what I would recommend that you use uh, so let's get back to it now and go back to where we're at okay so um, in either case, we put our flux on there and now we're gonna get our fine tip soldering iron. And we're gonna get ready to pre-tin the pad in that area that we wanna solder. Okay, so on this particular model, we're just gonna drop some solder right here. Drop some solder right there. Okay, that is pre-tinned. This is a new tip I just put on today, so I have not really broken in yet, but I think we're good there. All right, now we need to find some wire, and uh, I'm just gonna grab any basic wire. So um, if you can look at, let me show you this wire real quick. This is what I'm just gonna tell you is what I'm using. Oh, why'd it get so dark here? Hold on, I think it's because my light's in the way. All right, so I'm just using, there, let's try that. Move that, does this get better? There we go. Man, I'll tell you what. Okay, so I use this wire. It's like a basic wire. I mean, it's, it's kind of like the wire you get with the Fry Sky receiver, okay? So just grab any thin wire that's, uh, that's, that's pretty thin, but uh, has really good outer silicone protection, okay? Because some of these will just, the cheaper ones will just burn back as you heat up the wire. You want to use something that's pretty good. And if you have some extra wire that came with your Fry Sky receiver, or perhaps any of your uh, name brand products, uh, use those, okay? All right, so let's get back to this now. So let me put this in this and go. Hold on. There we go. All right. 
All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna make sure that our wire is stripped here in 10. As you can see, I've gotta cut these off here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this wire. Uh, if I can find my cutters, here it is. All right, so we're gonna cut the wire, and this is, you know, we'll just cut the wire here, just like that, right? I'm gonna snip it right here, okay? And then I'm just gonna strip back enough so I can tin this, and you do need to tin it. So just strip the wire back and tin it real quick, and I'll show you what that's gonna look like here in a second. Let me just do this real quick. Okay. And here, if you guys want to see that, I can show you that. So hold on a second. I guess we can do it this way. All right, so let's do that. All right, so here's the wire right here. And let me zoom in. And we're just going to tin this back, right? So we're going to strip this wire and get a good amount of it off. And then go ahead, and I'm just going to separate these, and then twist them up pretty tight there like that. You're going to end up uh, tinning these and then cutting back a lot. Now, I'm going to use the flux paste here, and I'm just going to dip the wire in it. I find that this tins a lot better this way. All right, and then let me grab, if you don't, you don't have to use these. I'm starting to use them now because I've gotten more students uh, from the local junior highs that are doing drone programs and they're watching. So I'm trying to show them the proper method here. So just go ahead and kind of place your, uh, place your wire in there and just have it held so it's safe. And then just go ahead and tin it real quickly, okay? And that's it. Now I've dropped the temperature on my um, iron about, almost about 80 degrees Celsius, right? Now I need to I need to just make sure that I've got this all done here. All right, so that's tinned. And let's do the other side. Where's the yellow one? Here's the yellow one. Okay, we're gonna tin this up real quick. So it is, I am noticing it's taking quite a bit longer to get the solder to melt, but again, I'm trying to, I probably will increase it actually. I don't really like things taking that long. Let me just make sure I got a good, okay, so those are tinned well. Now we can move this out of the way. Now you can do one of two things, sorry, one of two things. So let's go back to our, let's go back to our screenshot now of our, uh, uh, which we'll call it here. I do not know why we are doing a light balancing. You know what, I think I know what it is. Um, we wanna do, I don't understand what is happening with that, but you know what, I'll figure it out later. I just switched over to this new setup and it's now making everything very dark when the light is present, but oh well, we'll figure it out. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and bring this over now, back to here. And you can do one of two things here because the soldering isn't that tough, but um, if you don't have a steady hand or you really wanna make sure you get this right uh, and you're worried about moving the wires, um, then you can use those same alligator clips that I was just using and hold the wire in place. Now I'm gonna snip this and I want us to show you how much we're gonna keep. So this is the wire under the microscope, right? So we're just gonna keep, I mean like a very bare minimum, probably one millimeter worth, and that's it. All right, so, cause you really don't have much room there and you don't wanna have too much wire. So wipe the rest of that away. Now take your wire and uh, get a set of tweezers, which is what I'm gonna do here. I don't know why this is doing this, but let me see. I'm not sure what this means. Put this on auto. I don't know what any of these are. Oh, there, look at that. Hmm. I like that, we'll keep that. Boom, just leave it like that. No, it's a little too bright, but that'll work. Okay, so anyways, for right now, let's just get going. So now with the tweezers and wire in hand, we're going to go ahead and get down here and it doesn't matter which side you put the wire on, but put one on, All right, as you can see right there, and just get to that spot. And then, because you've pre-tinned both, this should connect pretty quickly, and it did. There's one. Now we're going to go ahead and do the other one. There's the other one. And now both sides are, are connected, right? Okay, and with that done, now what you're gonna do is, if you wanna test this now, and I can take this off the bench here, so let me just remove this, and then we will uh, give you a full shot of the bench itself. Okay, so let's go ahead and go here. There we go, all right, and I'll zoom out real quick. Okay, so what we've got now is we've got the receiver that we were working on, right, which is right here, okay. Oh my gosh, can't get this tape off here. All right, and now we need to test to see if it works. So now we need to give this receiver power. Well, I still haven't added power to it, so I need to do that real quick. So we're gonna go ahead, and I'm gonna give you a different angle to look at now. 
because I need to use the old man glasses to do this part. Oops. Bear with me. I'm in having the worst time trying to get used to this new uh, camera setup. So let's do this. And then let's zoom in right there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead now and get ready to solder this up. And it's just going to be real quick. I'm just going to pick any random wires that I've got here that are available. Uh, so I'll use a white one here. And I'm just going to strip that really quickly. Tin it up. Tin this up. Okay. I'm going to use a blue one. Do the same. I'm just going to pull it with my fingers there. There we go. Tin this up. And again, this is just to test this out. Make sure everything works so I can show you guys. Okay, now I'm going to cut back that wire because it doesn't need to be that long. I risk shorting this out if I don't. So let me just go ahead and cut this back a little bit. Cut that back a little bit. Okay. And now what we're going to do, I know that's pretty bright there, but uh, okay. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and solder these on, right? Let me go ahead and do that real quick. Uh, and let me make sure we're clear here on all this. Got to get this cleaned up. So we're going to go with our ground, we'll just make ground blue. And we're going to make our positive red. And we don't need to connect our S bus right now. It's got no point in this, but I do want to add just a tad bit more on the ground to make it hold. Even if it's temporary, I need it to just make sure it doesn't come off. Let's get that off of there. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to give it some power. So let me get ready for that. Let me snip this part off here. And then we'll just get these wires exposed. And we'll make sure this is working. Okay? Okay, fine. Here, I'll do it this way. There's one. Good one. All right. Okay, so with that done, what we're gonna do now is let me get the power here. Let me find the cable. I don't know, put it somewhere so let me see if I can locate it real quickly. And uh, I don't know where I put it. So we'll just grab this one. Okay, so I'm going to uh, get a connection here. Let me pop this in real quick. There we go. Let me get a positive from here. Let's get the ground from here. Now let's can let me make sure I've got the right voltage first. All right, I need to drop this down to five volts. All right, that's good right there. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear this up a little bit and we are going to move the lighting just a bit and let's see what we got. So we're going to take the red is going to be, or the positive is going to be the white wire and the ground will be the black wire. Let's see if these will actually hold in these. Okay, and now you can see that we have our lights blinking, right? So that's what it's supposed to do. And now what we want to do is we want to strip these wires out the back here, right? And we want to see, so we turn it on, we've got the regular blinking right here and it's looking, right? And now what we're going to do is we're going to twist these wires together and we're going to make sure that this uh, imitates as if the button is pressed. And I'm just kind of quickly doing this. I'm hoping oh, oh, those aren't attached. That's not going to help me. Let me just strip back a little bit more wire here real quick. Now you can make these as long as you want. Usually I'll... Uh, make them pretty long and then I'll put a heat shrink over them when I'm not using them. All right, so now we've got them connected, right? Let me turn this on. Oh, and I lost my connection here. Gosh darn it. I just like that, okay? So now as you can see, they're connected. Watch. See how it's not blinking now? 
That's that's telling you that it's in binding mode. So if I get my radio, I'm gonna grab this. Um, here we can go from the top here now. The top angle now. So let's do this. See if that'll work better. Okay. Now I'm gonna grab the radio. I'm gonna give it a shot here. So let me go ahead and boot this up. Okay. And we'll try to fit this all on the screen, hopefully. There we go. Okay. So this is a new one, actually, for a customer. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just copy this model over. Okay. And then we're going to select this model. Okay. And then we're going to go to our menu page. Scroll back. Go to D16. Oops. That's not D16. There's D16. And this is going to be on channel. Uh, two, and we're going to go ahead and bind it, and we're going to use, uh, I don't know, 16 with telemetry. It doesn't matter, okay? Now, to test if this is working, we're going to see if that light blinks properly to say that it's bound. Okay? And there you go. You see it start flashing, right? Let me zoom in there if you can see that. See, that's blinking like that. That means that it is now bound, okay? Now we're going to stop this, hit exit, go back to our screen, turn this off. Wait for the light, wait for the power to turn off real quickly. There it goes. Now you can disconnect your wire. Now when you turn it on, you're gonna end up with a light here, you're bound. And there you go. So you are now officially bound, right? And the system, the setup is, oh, whoops, I lost power, gosh darn it, hold on. There we go. So it's gonna be bound here, right? And you can see now that we've got, our red light is gone, and we are now connected to the system. And if I try to, if I try to, uh, well, let's say I wanna do a fail safe, like I press the button, all I have to do is just tap these and hold them like this. And there you go. Now it just said it's fail safe. And if I want to exit and I tell this I want to turn off and we are now done. Okay. So as you can see now it's off, radio's off. And if I turn the radio on, we are now going to be connected and the red light's going to switch as soon as this thing logs in and you are now, watch, there you go, bound. Perfect. Okay. So I uh, hope that helps, guys. That's, um, that's uh, one way. I don't know what this white balance crap is, but we're going to see if we can fix this just a little bit. Sorry. Let me see. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, that's good light. I'll lock that. All right. So hopefully that helps, guys. That's how you're going to do uh, this particular series. And there's another series that you can do as well. Um, uh, and I'll show you that as well. But this is how you're going to do it. It's very simple. And then when you're done, you end up with a pretty clean product. Uh, I'm pretty pleased with it right now as it looks. Um, and uh, and uh, all you have to do is just trim the wires back. So if, if I can go back to the screen real quick, I would just say at this point, um, you know, if this is me and I'm keeping this one, which it is, I mean, I had to repair this anyway because it's going to be part of my inventory uh, for used inventory. So I would come back now and say, okay, I'm going to trim this to about right here, right? And then if I do strip these, I'm going to strip them, right, like this. All right. And I'm going to tin them up. Okay, and let me do that real quick just so I can show you how the end result should be, all right? So I'm gonna tin them up. Just like that. All right, let me solder them real quick. Just to tin them and that's it, nothing more, okay? And there you go. And once I'm done binding them, I'll just make this pretty simple. I'm just going to grab me a piece of, um, let me find my uh, heat shrink here. I'm going to grab me some of my really, really small heat shrink. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead, take this yellow one. I'm going to take this heat shrink. I'm going to cut it in half. And I'm going to put one on this side. On this side, Let me shrink those up real quick. The main thing is, I'm going to get this here. I don't really want to shrink that too much, but I'll keep those there. All right, and then what I can do is when I'm done, I can slide those off. Okay, and then as soon as they're going to cool, they're going to be a little bit harder, right? So they'll hold their shape. And then when I'm done uh, binding them, I'm having a hard time seeing without my glasses here, but in either case, I will be able to see eventually. There we go. 
I'll slide the uh, heat shrink back on, all right, and cover up the spots, just like that. Okay, and then at that point, you can either use a larger heat shrink, or you can just leave it like this for all you know, you know, and just, uh, you know, usually I'll fold it over like this, and then I may put one more piece of heat shrink that is really not even having to be shrunk down. It's just gonna be a holder and put it in place like this and I can just slide it over. This may not be big enough, but I'll take like that. Let me try this. Uh, this one right here is gonna be pretty big, so that may work, but you know, and then that's it. I don't really need to do much else with it. I mean, you can shrink this down if you want, but basically is you're gonna cover the wires when you're done and then when you need to use them and bind it, there you go, and you're set. And if you don't think you're gonna need to bind it again, then just take the wires off altogether. But this is a real easy way to do this setup, okay? And this is gonna keep your, uh, this will let you fix it. And then for me, I'm actually done. This, this, uh, this setup is done. All I need to do is find the antenna that I took off and I will be actually closing it up. And I'll show you, if I can, if I can find it, I will show you exactly what that'll look like. But I may not be able to find this here. There's a bunch of wires on my desk because I got a lot of repairs to do today. So unfortunately, I guess not right now. Uh, but I will put the other antenna on and then I will heat shrink the whole setup, and it'll be done. I wish I had that antenna, though. I'd show you how to do it, but all right. So anyways, that's it, guys. Oh, no, here it is. Here, no, no, shoot. That's not it. Okay, never mind. Let me quit wasting time. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but anyways, all I'm going to do now is just put the other antenna back on. I'll glue everything down, right, including the wires. I'll cover them with a little bit of glue, and then I will go ahead and take my heat shrink. I have a clear uh, uh, strip of heat shrink. I'll put it around it, and that's it, and you've got yourself a good receiver again. So please just make sure you scrape off all the all the excess um, uh, stuff on the button where it was, and then get straight to the board, do those two pins, and you're set. All right, guys, sorry, I know it took a little longer. Uh, please, if you have any questions, uh, hit me up. You can always email me at tark at cyclonefpv.com, and then make sure to um, subscribe to our YouTube channel and also follow us on Facebook. See, I changed those. Now I've got them on top and bottom. Uh, all right, and I think that's it. All right, if you have, uh, if you have any questions, hit me up. If not, say fly and God bless, and uh, spend time with your family, guys. Don't forget that's important. See you soon. Bye.